Hey everybody, welcome to the Age Graceful channel. I hope you all are having a splendid day. Listen, I am about to get ready to go to a wedding. I'm short on time. I want to do just a bare amount of makeup so that I won't look so tired. As most of you know, I've been dealing with my father. He's been sick for a couple of months. I just left his bedside. He's doing well, and he says to tell all of you hello. So before I get started, though, I would like to shout out somebody very special. Two guys at my local gas station. I went over the other day. They were really helpful. I passed them my business card. I got these business cards made up. Um, I think when I hit 1,000 subscribers, and I just had this one side initially, and then on my second batch of business cards, I did them with uh, two sides so that you could see different looks that I've done. I also have car magnets with these pictures on, so when I'm driving down the street, when I'm parked, I can advertise my channel. And I do get people questioning, is that you? And I say, yes, it is. Come on over and subscribe. So if you are not subscribed to this channel, please look below and hit the red sign that says subscribe. Turn on your notifications so that you can be alerted each time I upload a new video. So, going back to those young guys at the Sunoco and Refford at Five Points. Hello, Hamdizo and Zahara. So happy to meet you both. Welcome to my channel. So, I'm going to begin with uh, just... Uh, fixing my eyebrows up a little bit. I got them done about a week and a half ago. Yeah, about a week and a half ago. I went to Bee's Vanity in Oak Park, Michigan, and Miriam, very sweet lady, she threaded my eyebrows, and then when she gets done, she tints them. So I don't have to do anything to my eyebrows for at least a good week. The threading part does not look too bad, but I need to deepen the color, so that's what I'm going to do next. And I know that you're wondering why I have my glasses on. I can't see. I have a big mirror in front of me, so I'm using the big mirror. This is an e.l.f. eyebrow pencil in the color black. It has a spoolie on one end, and on the opposite end you have your color. So that's what I'm using today to kind of deepen the color of my eyebrows. This is the eyebrow pencil in black, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this on lightly. Eyebrows are like cousins instead of sisters or you know in other words they're not twins nobody's eyebrows looks identical so just make one the best that you can and the other you the best you can um, when I go to Miriam by the time she uh, threads my eyebrows and then tints them she makes them equal on both sides. I don't know how she does it, but I just kind of slightly go over what she has already threaded and I outline it first. And then I come back and then gently and lightly fill it in. I do not want to walk around looking like Groucho Marx. So I just do it real lightly. And I like this e.l.f. pencil. And I don't know if you can see the difference already. I like this e.l.f. pencil because it has both the color and then it has a wax in it. So the wax helps to set the color so that it doesn't move and slide around on your face. Luckily, today is not a very hot day. 
or else uh, it could run, but I've never experienced this wax running. So I just lightly deepened in the color of my eyebrows. And I don't know if you noticed my nails. Um, I did them myself. I'm going to insert a full video clip on how I did my nails with the Kiss nails at the probably the end of this video. Of course, I can't insert it in the middle. So now I'm going to pull my glasses down. I'm just going to trace my eyebrows as they are. First the top to kind of deepen it in. And then the bottom. And then work towards the tail. Just very lightly. I don't like my eyebrows real deep in color. I like them to look more natural. So this is what I do. But you guys do what you like to do depending on your age. I know a lot of the young ladies, they like to have the real bushy style type eyebrow, but for my age, I do not like that style. Now, when I first get them tinted by Miriam, she gives me slightly that style, but over time as the tint wears off, because when you wash your face, if you have too much soap on it or too much water, the tint will begin to lighten up some. And uh, that's the reason that now I'm using this pencil just to deepen the color a little bit. And just going real light. The eyebrows take forever because we try to get them to be twins and they're not going to be twins. Once I finish getting the color on as deep as I want it to be, then you take the spoolie in and kind of brush it into the eyebrows. And so that's what I'm going to do now is put my top back on that end. And now I'm going to take my spoolie and just brush this color right into my eyebrows and blend it so that it looks more natural. Okay, so after I finished my eyebrows, I first was just going to use just a little bit of mascara because I'm short on time, but then I decided that I wanted to put some lashes on. Hold on one second. Let me bring a little bit more light. Okay, so I wanted to put on some lashes, and I decided to use my um, mascara by It cosmetics is called superhero and I just put a light coat of this mascara onto my lashes my lashes are very thin and as you age that's just a fact of life everything gets thinner looser smaller <laughs> it just works like that so the lashes I'm using today are by Ardell Ardell is the brand, and I've already taken them out of the package, and there's just this one set left, a right and a left lash in the pack. I've used all the others, and as you can see here, I like lashes with a thick band on them um, just because of my vision, so I can see. I very rarely buy the ones with the thinner band. I also use uh, Duo Glue to put onto the band of the eyelash. And I have some on the lash. Now, I already put the left one on. And so I'm going to put the right one on. Putting on lashes is no joke. 
It takes time. It takes practice. I am not a professional. I just love makeup and have been using makeup for many, many years, probably since I was 12. I first started with just um, a little pink lipstick and uh, what did I have? Like this real pretty blue eyeliner I would put at the bottom. And I had eyelashes then, so it looked very pretty. I didn't have to worry about any mascara until I got into high school. And then I had a competition with one of my best friends on who could make their eyelashes the longer using Maybelline Great Lash, the one that comes in the pink container. I still like that mascara to this day, um, even though I haven't purchased it in a long time. So the It Superhero uh, Mascara is already dry on this eye. And I promise you, no many, no matter how many bloopers or times it takes for me to get this on, I'm going to show you each one. So let's start now. This is my first try for the right eye. I have a mirror here. I think I left my magnifying mirror in my car because I was taking it back and forth from home to my dad's house, thinking I would get an opportunity to do a makeup look. Didn't work out. So first try, here's number one to put this right lash on. So I also have this eyelash applicator. I got two in a pack from Amazon for about three bucks. It came a pink and a black. I got it like over a year ago. I have no idea what the black one is. I never used the black one. I've thrown it somewhere. I want to find it um, because this one needs cleaning up. Glue does stick to it. And then it causes a problem because you can't get your lash on without... You can't pull away from your eye after you set your lash because there's glue on the actual applicator. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, here we go. First try. Okay, and I usually like to center it and then that way it's kind of equal to both sides. But after I put this one on, I noticed it was more to this corner. So now I'm going to have to adjust the placement of this lash. And some people look down and they can put them on, but I have to look right at what I'm doing and lay it right on top of my eyelashes as close as I can to my skin and once I get it set in place then I kind of fiddle around with it with the tip or the ends of the applicator see how it's sticking the glue is still good. I'm going to play around with it. It's stuck to my eyelashes right now, but I'm just going to gently pull it away and replace it. And like I said, this takes some time to do in very many trials. <laughs> That's why you rarely see anybody do uh, an eyelash right on camera they usually come back after the eyelash is already applied because it is tricky and i may have ran my mouth too long and my glue is too dry because you want it to sit on and become tacky but i think i've lost quite a bit of my tackiness I'm going to stop. So that's trial one, right? I'm going to stop for a minute and put just a small amount of glue. Be right back. Okay, guys, this is my second attempt. So let's see how long it takes me before I can place this lash. Actually, to be truthful... What do you think? Did I get it on the second attempt did I, or did I need three attempts? If you want to learn how to do lashes, you have to practice, practice, practice. Never give up on something that you really want to do. If it's within your heart, you will succeed. Um... I'm not perfect at putting on lashes and it's been a while since I had on a pair 
but today I really need some because my eyes look so tired. I just need them to make my eyes look more open. And so I'm working with this lash until I get it in place. And voila, success. So now guys, I have looked at my watch and I'm running out of time. I only have like 40 minutes before the wedding begins. My hair is not dry. I'll let it dry in the car and just fluff it on the way. Right now though, I'm going to put on a little bit of powder and I apologize, I forgot to turn my light back up so the focus or not the focus the lighting is a little bit dim i'm using the covergirl queen collection in color number q415 this is absolutely one of my favorite go-to finishing powders and i really like this powder i've been using it for years um, it's never failed me the formula is uh, non-abrasive to your skin. It gives you a nice matte finish that will last for hours. So I'm really buffing this into my skin because I'm not using any foundation. It's a little bit too warm. And like I said, I've been running back and forth between the hospital and home. And um, I just don't have the time or want to be bothered with a full face of makeup. Just something to make me look presentable. Now I'm following that powder with the Cover FX Sculptor Palette. And I'm going to use a couple of colors out of this palette. I'm going to use the darker one. Um, let me see. What is this color? I apologize, my eyeglasses slipped, but the color is called Shadow, and this is for contouring. And I absolutely love this contouring palette. I pick it up absolutely every time. And this was in a uh, boxy charm I received maybe three or four months ago. Next, I'm going to use the blush called Majestic just to bring a little color to my cheeks and i'm going to buff this into my skin as well and diffuse the color and blend it in with the contour color i love this formula in the cover fx as well it's not too powdery and the colors are super pigmented next i'm going to use the highlighter and the color is called twilight and this color is pretty any time of the day they have two highlighters uh, in this palette the other color is called heavenly and it's just a little bit lighter than the uh, twilight color. And I like that one for more at night when I'm going somewhere at night. And I'm just placing that right above my blush and on my nose and on my cupid's bow of my lip. And blending that out. I'm not going to be staying for the reception or taking any pictures, just going to dart right in. And now I have my lipstick by Huda Beauty. And actually it's not a lipstick, it's a lip gloss and the color is called Shameless. And it's just a translucent gloss where you can still see your lips a bit, but it gives you a nice shine and just a small amount of color. That's it on the drive. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, under eyeliner to make my eyes pop a little bit more. 
and then I'll be ready to go into the church. I'll see you guys the next time. Stay tuned for the nails. Okay, so I'm just taking some of this Kiss Gel glue and applying a very liberal amount onto my nail bed. And I did buff my nails gently and file them. I'm coming out of acrylic. It does take like a year for your nails to become healthy again. My nails are finally healthy. I don't have any fungus, but I keep them short so that times like this, when you can't get out to get like a, a gel polish, which is not permanent, you can just quickly apply a nail like this. I'm trying to get it lined up here. Once I get it lined up, then I just press firmly and count maybe to like 30 or 60. It depends. Uh, the type of weather too today, it's not very hot and uh, it's very comfortable so it shouldn't take long to adhere by me pressing down on it. And then after I feel I press down long enough, I release and then I let it naturally dry for up to one hour before immersing my hands in any water. And that's it.